Hello everybody, welcome. Here is Anne again with an interesting Nia talk. Today I am with my colleague and friend from Michigan, Teresa. And I would love to ask you the question, how long have you been practicing Nia now? I've been practicing Nia for 15 years and teaching Nia for 14 years. Wow, that is a long time. It sounds like you had a flash in your heart right away that you wanted to be a teacher of this technique. Is that so? Well, I definitely had a, I would say, more of a mental flash first than, than a heart flash of not understanding how I could do Nia following a major cancer surgery that had left me in great pain and not being able to do much movement, how I could take an hour long class and wake up the next morning and not be in pain. So it definitely first started out as a mental, how is this happening? How is this happening? And then I kept going back and it definitely dropped into my heart that Nia was changing me. Oh, wow, you are in speaking to so many points right there. Uh, the intelligence of Nia meeting your intelligence and then also the questioning, how is it possible to wake up painless yeah. and that your body has been through a deep healing journey. And uh, my experience as a Nia practitioner and trainer is that so many people with different issues in their body have this sort of mystical experience in Nia that they all of a sudden can sense their bodies, connect to it, dance for an hour and feel amazing afterwards and connect, I can say, almost from not being able to move to move again. Yes. Wow. Well, that is very touching. And uh, so let us in a little bit on your, uh, on your journey there, movement journey or anything inspiring about learning as an adult woman to become a movement teacher. I don't know if you had that on your on your map at all. No, <laughs> not even not even remotely did I imagine in my wildest dreams that I would be standing in front of a class leading a powerful, magnificent movement practice. Um, but after taking Nia at a certain point, I was doing Nia seven days a week and feeling better and better physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And with that thinking mind that I referenced and you referenced back, I needed to know more. I needed to understand how is it that I'm feeling better? And so that was one of the reasons why I took the white belt to understand the logic behind Nia and then realizing that not everything in my life could be logical, that there is a place for mystery and that it's okay if I don't understand everything. Yeah, well, that is a cer certainly a, an exciting door to open that, that yes. there's something about when we connect to joy and music and dance, something happens in our chemistry. Yes. And you know, it's a little bit similar for me. You know, I came from athleticism and not really leading groups or being uh, even thinking of myself as a dancer. It was yes. off the map. I was on a journey to be a therapist for the rest of my life. And but uh, yeah, it is that moment when we can find uh, the joy in in move the moving body and then one so much joy that i have to share it yeah that's that's really really cool so you came from let me just have a wild guess let's say corporate left brain oriented career and you find nia and you say okay i'm jumping in the white belt and there you are guiding and movement and there there i am and prior to my cancer, the only physical activity that I did, I was a competitive tennis player. So, I, you know, I, I tell everybody I have the one obligatory 
picture of me at three years old in a tutu. That was the only dance class <laughs> that I ever took. <laughs> and I often also say if I had known then where I would be now, I would have videotaped my first class as a student and my first class as a teacher so that everybody can truly understand the possibilities that Nia can bring to their lives. Oh, wow. Well, of course, I can imagine. But the, the, the thing is, even if we see a picture of someone, like I was very clumsy in my early days. I had no grounding and every joint felt stiff. But inside of me, I felt very resilient and, and mobile already. But I'm sure that my my inner world was not matching what, what people saw. But there's something about a Nia teacher's eyes and, and th when the joy comes out. And uh, oh, wow, I'm uh, a little bit starstruck here, Teresa, <laughs> with your healing story and everything. But now, of course, I have met you in Portland yes, the, yes. when we used to travel. And now you have uh, come to my side and you are joining me in my online trainings. And I feel very honored that you have selected uh, to learn from me. And I always enjoy when I meet uh, women with a greater intellect than mine, where I can <laughs> learn something. But somehow uh, you're learning Nia with me. Yes. And I, I, I'm curious what it is that you sense when you do take lessons from from my my way of sharing Nia, since you have so much comparison. I don't know that there's enough time, so I'll do my <laughs> best to, to boil it down. I first met you at my brown belt in Portland. And I should probably say two things. One, if anybody's ever done the the strength finder assessment, my biggest strength is a learner. I love to learn. And then with my corporate background, I spent a lot of years in human resources. So another passion of mine is to watch people at work. And I'm very drawn to people who are exceptionally good at their jobs. So the first time I met on in Brown Belt and we were in circle and a little nervous my first time in Portland, and I don't recall what you said, but whatever it was, my whole body went, you need to learn from her. And so not only was it the opportunity to learn Nia from you to hear, but I also got to spend the whole week watching somebody who was truly gifted at their job. So it fed <laughs> my whole body to to be in the same space with you. And the other thing that I love about you and continue to, to love about you is that you see, you see everybody. And my brown belt and my black belt in Portland, I think we may have only talked one time, but both times you were witnessing what was going on in my body before I even did. And that being seen means a lot. And so this opportunity, I always had on my list that I wanted to come to Hamburg in person, hasn't worked out yet. So this opportunity to be with you online is one of the gifts of this pandemic. And so I couldn't pass it up. And you were just as powerful online coming through my computer as you are in person. And I appreciate, and just so everybody knows, at the beginning of the pandemic, before Ann was taking her classes, I was getting up at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> to, take, to take classes with her for the, for the time difference. But somebody had asked you if you were going to be doing belts online and you made the comment that you weren't going to until you knew that you could deliver the quality that was necessary and it is just as powerful online as it is in person 
So mm -hmm. I, I thank you for, for your gifts. Oh, thank you, Teresa. I have to inhale and, and uh, assimilate your words. It touches me deeply. And um, I know you see what you, what you see and perceive is so real. And there's an aspect of chemistry that I believe we hit those wavelengths a few times in our lifetime. Yeah. Five, maximum, I think, ten times. We have those moments of chemistry. And, and uh, obviously you have it with Nia, and then yes, I'm yes. One, of the, one of the beings as well that get to be that for you. But I, I feel when you speak is that we can get a sense of that whatever we are doing here with the online education, it comes across and it, it is possible to, to res both for me to receive you so I can give you feedback and to see yes. you and for the student to have the same experience. And um, Absolutely. Hmm. Yeah, well, th thank you so much for uh, giving your voice and encouraging uh, my clients or any client that happens to watch this and, and see the sincerity and authenticity in that which we are saying uh, that they will be curious and perhaps uh, join in classes or in trainings. And uh, yeah. I, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And chances are you will see me there as well. <laughs> yeah, yes, come, come, and, come and connect. Yeah. Well, Teresa, I'm gonna say goodbye now. And uh, thank you for um, speaking so well about my work and the work of Nia and how it has helped you in your life to heal and to have a second career and to bring your brilliant corporate mind into uh, the Nia work. There are so many butterfly girls like me who needs also <laughs> very grounded people who look at business and, and, and see things. So we are a funny bunch. And uh, if you've been watching the interview until now, uh, please continue to check us out. Welcome to the world of Nia. We are a big community worldwide. And we say that our technique fits any age, any shape, any body, any level of fitness, post-operation, before operation, with uh, pregnant, non-pregnant, with artificial joints or not, uh, it is actually so that everybody is welcome, which blows my mind. Yeah. All right. So between Magic Michigan and Hamburg, we will say bye-bye and thank you for listening to us. Thank you. Thank you.